each and every day we wake up and we get a deposit into our bank account. It's the most valuable thing we'll ever get that we own in our lives. And I'm not talking about money. What I'm talking about is time. In that regard, every single one of us are equal. We all get 1,440 minutes a day, 168 hours a week, 52 weeks a year. Doesn't matter if you were black and white. It doesn't matter if you were rich or poor. It doesn't matter if you were well-educated or uneducated. It doesn't matter what car you drive or what house you grew up in or what job that you do. In the eyes of time, we all get the same amount. Every single day. And no matter whether you think Jesus Christ is the savior of the world or he was some weird dude that wrote a book that everybody likes to read and sing songs about, he proved this, that it's not the quantity of time that you get in your life that matters, but it's the quality of how you invest it. Because a man who was born this season that we celebrate lived 33 years and 2,000 years later we still sing and we still celebrate and we still meet every single week to praise his name. And so my question for you guys today as we get ready to walk out of here is not how you're going to celebrate Christmas. It's not what are you going to do later today for lunch. It's not the little things. My question is this. What are you going to do with the time that you've been given? See, one reason I think God chose to appear to the shepherds is they realized the value of doing the right thing at the right time. We see it in this story right here. When the angels told them about Jesus, they didn't form a committee and talk about it. They didn't debate about it. They didn't say, oh, wow, that's amazing, and then go on about their day saying, tomorrow I'll get to that. What they did is they left and they went and they saw him. They knew what was important and they went and did it. And so this year, as we get ready to celebrate Christmas, as we go into this week, as we walk out of here, my hope is if you leave with one thing that you wonder and you talk about with your family and your friends, is that what will we do with the time that we have? Will we do it today? Will we say, you know what? I need to serve this person today. I need to talk with that person today. I need to witness to this person today. I need to tell my spouse that I want to make it work with them today. I need to tell this person how much I love them today. I need to give that today. Or will I push it off till tomorrow? I'll go to counseling tomorrow. I'll talk with that person tomorrow. I'll do that thing that's important tomorrow because tomorrow's comfortable tomorrow is easy but one day tomorrow won't come anymore all we have is right now <laughs>